Hey guys, today's video we're going to be doing how to handstand. This video right here is how to handstand for beginners. If you're not a beginner, if you're intermediate, go to my channel and click the intermediate video. If you're advanced, don't click intermediate, click advanced. Thank you. Don't forget guys, subscribe right here or right here when I'm filming this. I actually don't know which side it's going to be on. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Alright, today's video we're going to be doing how to handstand for beginners. Step one, stretch. So today we're going to start out with stretching our shoulders. For shoulders, you just want to do nice big rotations and you want to get the rotator cuff nice and warmed up. Don't do it too fast at the beginning. But let all the ligaments kind of break up. You'll feel it kind of pop sometimes. That's, that's actually good. So just keep stretching. You don't want to get injury. Okay, now after you stretch your shoulders, you want to stretch your wrists. Now when you're stretching the wrists, you want to really make sure you get full range of motion. So go forward, backwards, forward, backwards, and even flip them over and stretch them like this. You want to make sure and really stretch the wrists out because wrist fatigue is one of the biggest problems you face in handstands because you're on your hands. After you thoroughly stretch your shoulders and your wrists, then you want to stretch your neck. How I stretch my neck is I put my hands up in a position to where I'm going to be handstanding, and then I just put my neck back. Back and forth. Look as far as you can forward, and look as far as you can backwards. By doing that, it stretches the neck up and down, because when you're in a handstand position, you'll be most likely looking up. Step two, how to do the handstand. So you're gonna to wanna to put your hands up. When you put your hands up, put whichever dominant foot you have, put it in front of the other, put your hands up, and in one motion, when your hands go down, one foot stays. You see how that goes? So you wanna be able to touch the ground, and one foot naturally just lifts. When you do this, the momentum of your leg carries you so you don't risk falling over and over rotating. So step three, let the momentum carry you. Hold it as long as you can and come down with one foot. Alright guys, you're going to want to just keep practicing because every time you do it you just get better. If you can only hold it for this long, that's fine. Just kind of feel the momentum. Very important that you flex your hands. Most people do not do this and that's why their handstands are not good. When you flex your hands, it creates a, a more stable base. As you can see, if you're standing on your feet right now, look down and tell me, are your feet flexed or are your feet just sitting there holding you up? If, you, if they weren't flexed, you'd fall right over. Similarly, when you're on your hands, it's the same thing as you're on your feet. They have to be flexed and constantly moving and making micro adjustments so that you can balance. All right, now the last step, I cannot stress this enough. Practice. Everyone asks me where I go, hey, how come you're so good at handstands? How can you, how can you do that? How can you do this? Oh, I could never do that. It's like, okay, I literally practice every single day. I do a handstand every day without fail. Really anything in life, you gotta practice. So practice anytime you can. If this video inspired you to start handstands or you've been into handstands, you just don't know how to do one, and this was knowledgeable, uh, please leave a like, leave a comment on how it inspired you. If you would post something on Instagram, tag me in it if you do. I'd love to see your guys' handstands. If you got through this and you practice a bunch, this will lead you to the next video, which is intermediate. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, keep practicing your handstands. 